Hi, in this video, we will talk about JSON schema validation using REST Assured. So with the help of REST Assured, how you can validate the schema of a particular JSON. Okay, so for that, I'll take a sample and we already discussed about what is JSON schema in our previous video in detail. If you did not watch that video, please go and watch that video. Then you will get a clear understanding. Then you can watch this video. It is very simple. So I'm taking one example uh, APIs, fake store api.com slash products. So if you go to this one, so you, you can put, uh, you can use that uh, Postman also, but I don't need to validate every anything there in the Postman. So I'm just putting in the browser. So this is my JSON data. Okay. So how, this is first set of data, second set of data. That's how I have 20. But if you have 20 uh, or 100, but that uh, each and every object should match with your JSON schema. So for that, I just need this single object. Okay. So I'm taking the first one. If you want to take anyone, you can take anything. So everything should be in the same uh, format, right? The ID one, title, price, description, everything having the same information. Okay. So I'll take one sample object from here. Okay. So I'll go to from JSON to JSON schema. Okay. So here with the help of JSON, you can generate the JSON schema. Okay. So it generated the JSON schema. Okay. But in the real time, developers may give this information. Otherwise, if this information is exact, you are confident, you can generate, you can generate the JSON schema on your own with the help of these online tools. Okay. Okay. So it generated. So I'm taking this copy. Okay. So I'll go to Eclipse. So I created a class called JSON schema validation. And inside that I created a method called validate JSON schema. Okay. The JSON schema is, this is the schema. So for that, let me create a file with that schema. Okay. So I am putting inside the source test resources. If you, if you put inside the JSON uh, source test resources, then we don't need to mention the path, everything. If you are putting in other location, you need to put, provide the full path of that file. Okay. I'll create a file. That file name I'll mention. Fake store API, fake store API, J, JSON schema dot JSON. Okay. So I'll create like this, the name, whatever you want, you can give, I'm pasting here. So, okay. So this is the JSON schema I copied from here and pasted here and I named it as JSON store API, fake store API JSON schema dot JSON. Okay. So whenever I perform some action like this, the data which is coming is with this format or not, coming in this format or not, that I need to validate with the help of my REST assured. Okay. So for that, what I need to do, for this, we need to add, need to add JSON schema validator dependency. Okay, we need to add those jar files. Okay, so JSON schema validator. For that, go to MVN repository and search here JSON schema validator. So this is JSON schema validator. Click on this. So take this. Let me check that. So we have JSON schema validator in this is coming from GitHub. I don't, uh, we have a 
yeah this one rest assured one json schema validator click on this 5.4.0 copy this go back to your eclipse go to your palm.xml so here you just copy wherever you want and after copy pasting you need to save so it will build your project and you, it, it will download the json schema validator dependencies okay so that's all and then go back to your okay? so here what we need to do very simple very simple rest assured dot given okay rest assured i am using dsl format so dot when okay given when we need to mention get what is that url we need to mention this url we need to mention this url and then once you get that then sorry then sorry we need we should not close this dot assert that okay it is saying that assert that validate uh, validatable response okay assert that dot body inside the body okay inside the body so let me put in the next line okay what is that you need to use this is coming from the json schema validator we have okay this is coming from io dot rest assured dot module dot jsv okay so we need to take this one okay json schema validator is a class okay dot we have matches json schema in class path okay we need to take this matches json schema in class path and we need to mention where the your schema file is that is already there here so let me so let me take this one so we need to mention that file name here okay just fake store api json schema dot json so i am not mentioning where the file is the reason is if it is inside the source test resources then we don't need to mention anything extra apart from the file name with the extension but if it is there inside other packages we need to mention that where exactly it is with that location also that folder structure everything okay so that's it that simple it is so once you get the response i am asserting that body is according to this json schema okay the response okay run it should pass failing so let me check body doesn't match expectation the content to match the given json schema instance type array does not match any allowed primitive type allowed object schema pointer validation expected object found array okay actual so let me copy this we will check once
So ID one title. So ID one title. Very huge this. Let me check on this. So I did not copy it properly. This this some extra. This is missing. It seems previously. So when I copy pasted again now. So I did not do anything. I just copy pasted that uh, schema again. So if you try to run now. it's passing so nothing i just uh, uh, copy pasted again and uh, executed it is working fine so this simple it is okay so you need to get the schema i i just took from here but uh, in the, in your case developer you know anybody can means from the development team you will get this one so you can create a json file and put it in wherever you want in your folder structure and then with simple that thing simple it is so fake store api.com slash products this is a get method you need to call this and then assert the dot body json schema validator dot matches json schema in class path and you need to mention that schema json file location here that's it very very simple so why we will do all those things so when you perform something like this there is a huge sets of data but i i cannot verify each and every data whether it is coming properly or not anyhow this information we cannot test anything so if if you have uh, here only 20 if you are getting 1000 for 1000 each and every value you cannot validate but at least the data is coming in the form of whatever we are expecting or not at least right so that time yes that is coming in the form of what in the schema which we defined all 1000 sets of data is following the same rule right at least that you can verify with the help of schema okay so this is how you can validate your json schema so that's all in this video thank you for watching this video please like the video share the video and subscribe to the channel for interesting updates thank you